All right, guys. Uh, welcome to a monster episode of the Notorious 508 podcast. Um, first, we want to thank our sponsors, TNS Nutrition, out at uh, 721 Main Street or somewhere in that vicinity. Um, these guys have helped us out. They helped one of our athletes out. Uh, just a, a good friend of mine and a solid business, period. They've uh, survived through COVID, everything. Um, TNS Nutrition, go check them out. They got them healthy teas, the shakes, everything. Uh, honestly, I, I stopped drinking energy drinks uh, the minute I had one of these teas. So um, get healthy, stay healthy, and support your, your local business, good people. Uh, also, we want to throw a shout out to Savage Wraps, uh, food truck trying to make it. That I see them working hard um, out there for the Prouty community. Uh, go check them out. Usually they're at they're at the brewery there, Rap Scallion, I think it's called. Um, go check them out. If not, sometimes they're at Clems. I got to check them out for one of these breakfast wraps when I went there. I was speaking from experience. I stopped in. Had the uh, bacon cheeseburger wrap and the fish and chips wrap. Both were outstanding. So go check them out. Uh, tonight, very special podcast. Uh, it's in my wheelhouse, my interest. So it, it is what it is. And it's a story that should be told because I've, I've seen it with my own eyes. We have tonight the David Prouty Panthers of uh, this class 22-23 season. Incredible. Um, I caught on. They were... 18 and 0. Uh, as you guys know, we follow the South High girls, you know, we secondary, the North High polar bears this year. And I caught on to these guys late and they didn't receive a lot of coverage. So it's really no one's fault. Um, when I did catch on, it, I never looked back. This team just, it was something different. Uh, they proved that they all the way to the state championship. Uh, just phenomenal. And even after that, they're still making their mark. Um, they went down to, to the very last second, last second shot. We all know what happened, but uh, the stories that are coming out of this season that should be told, um, that's why we're here tonight because, you know, it's it's more than one game. So uh, looking forward, Coach Pat O'Connor, um, nothing but class, the entire team. So we're looking forward to this tonight. I, I have been in – uh, for really, from from here on out, for years to come, I think the uh, with the impact these guys made this year on the youth and um, years to come, I think the talent's about the breed itself. So uh, let's talk. Let's get it on. All right, guys. As I was just explaining about uh, this here podcast tonight, um, we here, Coach Pat. Thank you for coming through tonight, setting us up. And uh, just thank you for what we witnessed this season. We're here tonight to tell the story a little bit. Um, now, as you know, I caught on at 18 and 0. That's uh, what was setting that up. So I literally know nothing other than the highlights that I saw, the scores that I saw, didn't see with my own eyes the first 18 games. Um, nor did I, I mean, tell me about. Well, how this season started? What were what were the expectations? Game one. Well, I think in the locker room, uh, I don't. I'm not the type of coach. I don't like to have exact expectations right away. I I, I like to f- see how things play out. I don't like to like put a hard set goal um, right away because you know there's so many variables involved. Health grades things of that nature but I know for a fact that uh JJ from everybody was telling me was telling everybody in school state championship was the goal um which is great and I think that says a lot about the kids they were super competitive uh very talented and we had a great season last year we won 15 games in a row we lost in double overtime in the round of 16 um you know, summer hit. We had a great off season. We did went did very well in the Auburn Summer League. Um, we had a lot of guys step up, get better throughout the summer, and then Cam Hoekstra and Tyler Patchen uh, were not on David Prouty and 
21, 22. So they transferred, uh, Cam transferred midway through the summer and Tyler showed up um, actually at the second week of school. So there was a lot of talent in the room, obviously. Um, and for me, it was more of a question of how is it going to fit together? And we just, again, speaks to the kids, how great of a group of kids they were. They, I mean, with all that talent in the room, things can go one way or another, but they wanted to make it work. And a lot of the kids made a lot of sacrifices. And, um, you know, my favorite part of the season, I mean, there's I'm not my favorite, but one of my favorite parts of the season is we took it to the end. Um, we were a very close group. We loved practicing together every day. I think the kids, even the day before the state finals, it didn't feel like we were practicing before the state finals when they were competing in practice because they still wanted to beat each other. Um, and being able to have the most, the maximum amount of basketball played in the MIA for our school for the kids was amazing. Um, obviously, we you know, came up a little bit short in the state championship, but, um, you know, just taking it as far as it can. Uh, and that was together. And, and for them, they'll remember that for the rest of their lives. There's no doubt. And it, it was noticeable, like I said, for a minute one while walking into that gym. And, I, and the first game I, I saw you guys was the clock tournament. Um, and I'm walking in now. I'm also... I do my podcast. I got deep in the basketball shows with North and South. And um, I, I, my friend, Sarah Petrosi, she kept me informed and was telling me about you guys, but the, the story that needed to be told, I didn't see until I saw it with my own eyes. Like the way your system, um, it, just the way you guys were close knit, the way those guys break away from the huddle from game, from second one, from tip off the way they pick each other up off the floor was amazing. And I'm going in looking for Braden White because I saw the thousand point. Uh, he was talked about online and all the podcasts, the local podcasts and everything. But then I come across and here it is. I, it, it's handy. I told you the earbud. I'm hearing Fornia all night. I'm hearing uh, there, there, he is, there they are right there responsible. Um, I'm hearing that name all night. I'm hearing Alan for you. So on my video, that's the story, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this kid's got, you know, this is the game right here. This kid's doing his thing. Um, but also I, I've never seen a player like Braden, um, live with my own two eyes. Uh, the space he, he gets away from people is just incredible to see. Um, and also, I'm going in there because Sarah sent me the video of the of JJ's dunk. So I'm I'm watching JJ. He's just a, a defensive force down there. Um, then you got Cam on the outside. The offense literally was just. And I seen you guys. You burned it up for his couple games. I think you put 95 in that game against. Uh, what was that Pacific Rim or whatever that? So yeah. I caught you guys on a, on a hot moment, like initially, you know, but there was something different. It was just something different, like it's muted. just the, the atmosphere, you know what I mean? And phenomenal to watch the, the entire thing um, from front to back from my end. So I knew something special had to happen the, the first few games. Um, the, the first few games, the first 18, not a few, but um it was great to watch. We're going to, I want to bring Braden on quick. Uh, he's now, he's supposed to be out training tonight. We're going to find out, but I have specific questions for him. Um, Braden, I don't know if you're, if he's at his thing right now, we're going to start his video. There he is. I'm here. Ladies and gentlemen, Braden White, thank you for coming through tonight. I know, uh, Man, the hype was real. That's all I got to say. From minute one, uh, the hype was real, but it, it's not like what people think. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I've never seen anyone personally a uh, 40-point performance in my life, let alone record it, because you guys know I'm new with that as well right now. Um, but also, your leadership qualities were, were unbelievable throughout the year, and, and it spread throughout the team. It was infectious. It, uh, you're an entire team of leaders. 
Thank um, you very much. Unfortunately, I call you on the ass end of your career. And, uh, you know, we're not going to, it's not, I mean, your high school career. We're, we're going to follow you from here on out. But, but I, it was great to watch. And I, I just hope people realize, like, that you are a nucleus that's going to make any team work. And they, it, uh, that's the bottom line, what I saw, let alone the physical aspect. Uh, you're just burning people out there. And it's Thanks. awesome. I called you the wizard, bro, because it's legit magic. It was like legit magic. I don't even get it. I still, and I, I'm slow-mo. I'm watching these games <laughs> two and three times in a row before I finish my videos. Just incredible. There's, there was too much to put into each one. I wanted to give the other guys their due too, but I could make every video could have been highlights of you. But <laughs> congratulations on the season. It didn't end the way we wanted it to end. It's still a win in my eyes. It is like there's kids out there want to be, like I said, coach, the next Braden White. It's he's out there in his driveway shooting right now. You know what I mean? And you've had that impact, as did the team. And then from here on out, you guys changed the entire like mojo out there. It's great. So congrats to you, my man. Now let's get to a, a couple of questions. I know you got to run. Yeah. Um, what were your expectations before this season? I know this is your, your senior season. You also come from this asterisk kind of career of you guys kind of got hosed because of COVID through, through the years. So, um, you know, it's more than that. What were your expectations, you know, before this season? Um, I, before this season, my expectations I wanted to get to the Clark win the Clark and to be able to do that was a great experience but I didn't at the beginning of the year I didn't think we would go as far as we did so undefeated it was, yeah it was great and then some um the clock tournament the game I missed because the girls were in you guys were scheduled the same nights and I'm following three teams and they scheduled with basketball the same night. Uh, the game that I missed was the, the championship of the clock tournament. Um, tell me a little bit about that game. Uh, it was a great battle. We It was probably the best game that we could have asked for. We, we were down like seven, I think, at one point, and we fought back and ended up winning it. It was crazy. And then you guys, right after that, I jumped on with you guys, I think, and – that Prouty gym was incredible this year. That yeah. what a way to go out with that you guys having a new gym built out there, or whatever, a new school or whatever's going on. Um, but to have that kind of a season to send that gym out is is incredible, man. That's um what did you see it as the season went on? Like how many people supported you in the beginning? you know, from the community compared to the very last game, give me the absolute honest answer you can. If it was zero to a hundred, tell me that. Cause this is you guys' impact. Uh, at the beginning, there was not a lot of people at all. I noticed like, that cause of the huddle can. I noticed yeah, that. So, looking at like pictures from it, there was like not, it wasn't full. I don't even think we had to use both sides. I had but, to pay to get in. It was the first yeah. game I paid all year to get into a basketball game. So, and it was worth every dollar. But there was, I swear, one spot left. I want to shout to uh, Dan O'Keo. I think he, he was out there from North, North Girls Coach. Um, phenomenal. But the, the, I saw it rise from the playoffs. You know, it was back then, but man, people were at the tailgate in the parking lot for you guys. The, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I was, I was there. I was before the game, like making sure I got a spot. I had to park up on the hill. Crazy. Um, so the, the state championship, man, you guys, I saw that's where it really comes into play where I say that you guys won or you guys, it, there was a lesson that, you know, should be the story needs to be told or whatever. When, you know, when the last shot happened, none of you guys thought about yourself. You ran right to your boy. You got his back. You guys walked off. Like, I don't talk to players. I came over to you guys and I was like, stop. Yeah, that was crazy. That That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. On the biggest stage, man. Like, yeah. you, a winner knows how to lose. I don't know how to make it make sense, but, yeah, like, you, you got to 
that's where real character comes out. You know what I mean? And yeah. and you guys showed it that night. That was that's the story that is that is incredible about it. You know, let's play that game again. The Dakota coach, I talked to him. He gives you guys nothing but respect the whole entire thing. But phenomenal game. I want to ask you, what's next? Where do you? I heard Pittsburgh State. That's is that next? Yeah, that's where I'm going. Phenomenal, man. That's a that's a short drive for Shamrock Sports. Well, the, yeah, no doubt taking that, man. Um, good luck to you in the off season, man. I, I we're definitely gonna follow. Keep doing your thing. I mean, it's it's incredible. So we we're gonna be there, coach. Thank you very much. There there will yep. be another brain and white. There will be another brain and white someday. You yeah, out there. That's right. That's right. Because that's how he's gonna pay me back. He's gonna train the next brain and white. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> man. Um, so we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring Alec on. I. Now this is this is the part of the story that not a lot of people know. But we will we'll do it. I think Alec. I think. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. There he is. There he is. Alec, my Alec, man. Alec, my man. Does it? Yeah. Does it? Am I good? Yeah. Are you near your parents? Yeah. Are you near your parents? No, they're upstairs. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I hear a crazy oh, okay. I was going to say, I hear a crazy yeah. echo. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm trying to bring them yeah, on. Me too. I'm trying to bring them on. Is that better? Yep. Yep. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, uh, Tell them to come on, Alex. Tell them to come on, Alex. Oh, we still gotta. I'll text them. Uh, we still gotta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whose echo is that, Pat? Is that you? Who's echo is that, Pat? Is that you? It might be. I don't know. All right, hold on. Let me mute. Let me mute. Let me mute. Here we got. Here we got. You guys have no audio, Paul? You guys have no audio, Paul? No, we're there. Oh, you're yeah. there, okay. We're there. Oh, you're there, okay. We're upstairs, and he's downstairs. We're upstairs, and he's downstairs. It's an echo. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I, I think I'm going to have to stay muted. I think muted I'm going to have to stay muted. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's mine. Hold on. I'm going to switch to my phone. While we wait, I actually don't know the Alan Fournier story. Could you tell that? I can, actually. Yeah, it's funny. It's uh, it all right, so he's off. So, all right, Paul, you come on. I know, Paul, you weren't the um... – I'm here. All right, so I – when I first came in there, I'm in with the with the earbud all night long. And that's all I heard. I know I noticed Alec right away because the way he plays, it's like – I hate to raise the bar, man, but it's like Luka Doncic or something like <laughs> to that nature that his game – so I noticed it right off the bat, and I'm looking for Braden, like I said, and I'm looking for JJ, but I noticed Alec right off the bat, and I'm hearing in my head, Alan, Alan Fournier with, with my earbud in all night long. To the point, I put it on the video. That's how I spelt it on the video. But the next day, Paul, who I've, I've, I've never talked to, I, I know of him, but he said, thank you so much, but it's Alec, not Alan, and my message box is full. <laughs> Of people saying it's Alec, 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 because <laughs> he had ties with Diego, he trained with Diego and all that. Like, man, this is like he's got to be. And at that point, my editing skills—it just took so long to to redo. 
All I said was he's gonna have to be Allen for now, like for <laughs> one game only. So, <laughs> but uh, the yeah, rest of I him, think, and I, I tell I you, think we. That, I, I think that was the first game. I think that was out in Oxford, was it? Was the yeah. first game of Clark? The very first game. Very yeah. first game of Clark. That's all I kept saying. I was like, man. And then I'm noticing, like, he's right there to dunk. I think that was our next, like, conversation. I'm watching this kid leap all night. I mean, he's smooth to the rim. Every, he's, that's what I – and you notice because I put it in slow-mo every time. He's smooth to the rim, and he's right there. I think it was you, Heather, that said something about dunking. I was like – He's right there. So we got to get that going. We can't have JJ being the only guy throwing down out there. So I, had to, I guess he it. did it the other night. I guess I, he did. He said he did it the other night. <laughs> but I, he can. He's there. He was there a couple times this year. But the lane is all, you know, safe basketball is always good too. But if yeah. you're up, you know what I mean? I'm, <laughs> Coach doesn't want to hear this. I know this. I'm in. Keep in mind, I'm looking for views. I'm looking for a, a dunk. So, but. Al, you can hear you're in. Am I? Do I sound better? Yep. Yes. There's no, All right. no echo. That was it. So all we, right. I was just telling them the story, man. I was hearing Alan all night, and I had to. It was so hard for me to edit. I couldn't. You had to be Alan just for that video. So if anyone asks, you blame it on me. But uh, congrats on this season, man. You guys. I was just telling them I like your game. You're the you're one of the first ones I noticed when I went out there. Uh, I happy that we had there's a you know you're kind of we're not going to shout out names or you know titles or anything but you got to lead that team next year you and jj tyler yeah. you guys you have that all the pieces still there uh i'm excited to see it the leaps you're right there you're ever the man and it was good to see you get a little tacky this year because you got a good demeanor on that court you know but that picture I got of you guys staring that kid down that gave you the shove there and all that. You guys got to have that toughness, too. You guys came together as a team. That was my favorite picture of the year of, of you guys. So um, what were your expectations before this season? Um, well, it was definitely to make it to Clark and just be able to play in that atmosphere. But we also wanted to go really deep in playoffs and just have a good run. It definitely was not undefeated, but we always would joke, we would always like joke around saying we're gonna go undefeated before the season, like in the summer. That was I'll it. tell you, man, a dream season, dream season. You know what yeah. I mean? And and the trophy is not what it's what it's all about. We all want to win the trophy, you know. But what you guys accomplish is far more than any piece of hardware out there. Uh, phenomenal, man. So we have a background here that also nobody knows. Um, Heather, you know, I used to be neighbors with your parents. Nobody yeah. knows that. Spencer, I actually, I'm adopted, but I grew up in, not grew up. I think I was there until I was like two. I think, Heather, your family bought the, the place across the street. Mm -hmm. And man, I'll tell you, Bay Path Road, right? Is that, that was Old Farm Road. And man, there, there's a... It's funny, I got a video that people aren't going to believe. That's on this. You used to dance, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So you had, like, dance recitals at Prouty and all that. Yeah, I danced. With, I think I danced with your with Nicole. You did. Oh, you did. I, I think. I can't remember. It was so long ago. What if I told you I invented karaoke? Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a recital way out there. I'll show the video later, but... <laughs> It'd be funny, but so my, my nucleus out there in Spencer isn't, you know, totally, I mean, it wasn't cold, you know what I'm saying? Um, so the kids, man, you guys all know Javin. Yes. Javin Petrosi, Sarah's, Sarah's son. We're going to bring on Aiden. Um, Aiden, I think you're there. Gonna let him start his video, I think. So, give you just give you a little background with Sarah and myself. I started coaching her, her oldest son Jace, in fourth grade. So I knew Javin and Jarek when they were in when they were in her belly. I, I, tell, Javin, I tell Javin that all the time. It's crazy, dude. I, so I 
the south tie is Sarah. She's, you know, she like she said, her kids, they're like all when they were born, they were all like carbon copies of each other. They look exactly the same. They're like twins. Mm-hmm. You know, they've grown up and, and they and they branch out, but it's so funny the the, the DNA out there. But um, you also have ties with Diego. Um, yes. Right. So that that's the other thing I wanted to ask you, Alec, because um, he's spoken very highly of your training. So, um, what did you? How did Diego influence your early basketball days? Uh he he always just told me to be my best self. Did he and yell just, at you? Because he's he's tough, man. He's been, he's a bully. Not he is. <laughs> so. <laughs> He he speaks very highly of you, um, which Diego is is it's the coaches, man. I, I give you guys credit the way. Pat, we got to turn you on. I think he's been off. Pat, you back? Oh, no, I'm good. No, I'm 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 here. You good? So yeah, I, Pat, I just muted myself. The um the way the way you guys care about your players is is intense, um, and that as you know, I I followed Al at North to um, really the, the the team you guys create um, off the court really is, I believe, is a success on the court. You know what I mean? The, the, yeah, the, I mean, so, and I agree with you. So, like, when I wanted to coach, um, I, when I, it, it, it all started when, for me, like that, that whole thing was when I, I played basketball in division three, I never played, but um, I got really close to my teammates and I, I had known I wanted to be a coach. I always wanted to have players close, close like that. Um, unfortunately, I learned through the first couple of years, not necessarily a bad thing is it, it really has to be organic. It's not really, you can try to try to point the kids in that direction you can't force people to like each other um as a college basketball player you're walking into a school you live there you're there nine months of the year you eat sleep play basketball with these guys all day every day um we were just so lucky and we've been lucky the last few years and this is what we really hope to continue is that the kids organically loved each other and played for each other so when you speak you know, when, sort of like when you speak about those things to the kids, they understand. Um, when you're coaching a high school basketball team of kids who maybe don't love basketball and, you know, like their teammates, don't love their teammates, it doesn't carry as much weight. But that's what made, that's what's made this so much fun for me is because I have had, you know, 14 kids that love basketball and love each other um you know i it, it, it you see the bond because not every kid loves their coach especially in today you look at the transfer portal in college basketball i don't know who's not transferring there's no one um, yeah right but i think because the kids loved each other you know they see i i hope when they see as a coach how much you know you begin to love them and it's it can't be forced. It has to be organic. Um, that's when the mutual respect um, sort of gets achieved. You like I said though, it has to be organic. And and I've had teams of kids I I love, but they don't. It's not that they don't buy into that. They just I say this at the beginning of the year. They're just not hoopers. Um, we have hoopers. I joked at halftime in the locker room. This is Hooper High School, and everybody laughs. Um, but they, the kids, the kids love each other. That comes from playing together, growing up. And then, you know, when the group of kids that love basketball, continue to love basketball, they play together, they go over each other's houses, you know, those things evolve. That's when you do see it on the court. I think they really do play for each other, but it's like a daily, it's just like a habit. You know, you can't teach habits. You, you can't just say, oh, I want to do this without putting in the work. You have to put in the work. But the kids are putting in the work with each other without feeling like it's work because they 
genuinely love each other every single day. Um, and that's what, you know, we pulled in a lot of younger kids this year. We're really hoping, I mean, I was all in this year. I haven't thought about the future yet um, because I, it's so not fair the to I mean, the other kids. Yeah. But, 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 you know, what I'm trying to say is, I guess we, we pulled in a lot of younger kids because we want them to feel even seventh, eighth graders. We wanted them to feel what Alec, Cam, um, Noah Latour doesn't play a lot, at, you know, this year, who will have a great year. was part of that. Fred is part of that. Owen Granger is part of that. Braden White, they're all part of that. And you want as many oh, no. people to feel that because it's like you caught it. It's infectious and you don't want it to stop. Yeah, 100%, man. But that's, that's fine. I don't think it's got to. That, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this is just from here out. I think it's changed. Like, I think you guys are on a map. I think the program itself is on the map, you know, besides what you guys do. Um, phenomenal, man. It's, it's, the whole thing is great. Uh, next year, we'll worry about that. But we can still live in the moment, too. You guys, the the parade, I think, was phenomenal. I apologize for not being able to be there. I, I'm, I was in the dirt. It was, like, basically in the dirt that morning. There was no way I could get there. But. Um, to see everybody come out for you guys like that, that right there is proof. It's, it's the hype is real. Like I said, like I said for uh, Brayden, the hype is real, and um, the program itself is 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 what the the story is. You know, from here on out. So you Absolutely. guys gain a lot more. You, you get some coverage. I'll give myself credit here. I think I'm gonna get pretty big, and I'm taking you guys with me. Where if I go, if you guys <laughs> go first, I want the same back. But the legit, like, you guys are on the map, and I, like, it's, I'm there. I'm there. No, I've said it to you a few times in messages. You are uh, very loved in our community. So many people. I'm surprised you don't have hundreds more requests for the Shamrock year, because, like, someone I, that I, just works at the school, someone that works at the school asks, hey, where did uh, JJ get that sweatshirt? They walk into our practice for two seconds. You know, like, you're doing very well. I look at the the thing is I never wanted to be like I never wanted to start a business selling selling shirts or anything like that. You know what I mean? I'm in sports, I'm in the game, I'm in I love what I do. I'm just not the I was in sales before this. I don't want to be that guy again. So it's my I mean people are more than welcome, but it's um it means a lot. People that support too, you know what I mean? That's what comes from it. And I'm I'm delivering these to people that I haven't seen in years and that's what keeps me going, doing it, you know. But I don't know. I'm looking for stories. I'm looking for good sports stories. And you guys fit the mold, like now when I first got there and everything. There's there's more coming. There's a lot more coming. I didn't even get to go through all the huddle videos. Like that, all of that footage is amazing. You know what you guys did is what that should be in every school. That's gonna come up eventually too. I want that to be. I know you guys have a lot of help out there, but um, basketball is different now. It was dry to me for for a few years and everything, and we got a lot to look forward to. We, we definitely do. Um, guys, we're going to take a break for a commercial. Uh, I'm going to post the link one more time. JJ, I'm going to bring you back on because obviously you're a big part of this story for Shamrock Sports. I don't know, did you get the um, – there he is. Aiden, you got to unmute. We're going to bring you back on in a minute. And we'll bring Alec back on. So that's uh, all right. So we're going to break for a commercial. Um, Coach, can you send JJ, Aiden, and Alec the link? And I'll get you guys for 15 more minutes and then we're done. Is there a new link? Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to send you, I'm going to message you the oh, new yeah. link right now. And you know why? Okay. The best part of this is because I only use free Zoom and they give you 45 minutes. I don't. Okay. <laughs> but I will, right. uh, I'm going to send you the link. So we'll get right back on. Aiden, I'm, I'm trying to unmute you. It wouldn't unmute. Don't worry yeah. about it. I'll, I'll... You're good? Oh. Yeah. yeah I'll come just... back on, guys. Oh. And uh, coach, you're free to go if you want to go. I'll, I'll talk to these guys. You can come back on if you want. More than welcome. All right. All right. I'll stay with them. All I'll right. Thanks. So. All right. Thank you, guys. So. Talk to you in a minute. Okay.